Welcome back to the Purple Swordfish Show. I am Alex, aka Purple Swordfish, and today we're playing some Madden Ultimate Team on Madden NFL 15 for the Xbox One. And we're going to take on this Final Edition Martellus Bennett Challenge. And it just came out yesterday. All of the Final Edition cards that go with it came out today. And let's take a look, see what it would cost us to put together our own Martellus Bennett. So we got to do this challenge that you see up on the screen there. And that's going to give us 3,000 coins and the collectible needed to complete this set. But we also need four other Final Edition cards. And those are going to be Rashad Jones, Justin Forsett, Nate Solder, and Jermaine Curse. So we need those four cards and we're going to use those to complete this set and get a 98 overall Martellus Bennett. So it's a really, really solid tight end card. If you don't already have something that's like a 98 or a 99, this one might be one to go after. So we'd be looking at 56K for a Rashad Jones. We'd be looking at 38K. So let's just, let's see, 56 plus 38, that is 94. And then another 22,000. So we'd be looking at, let's see, 116. And then I think this one's going for about 17. So 133,000 is what I'm coming up with. But that's within the first 24 hours of these being available. We all know these will probably drop a little bit as time goes on. Some more than others, but... I think that Rashad Jones one is really going to drop because I don't see many people paying a whole lot of money for strong safety. reason I say that is if you go in the auction house, you can find uh, Bethea, the team of the year one. That's a 95 overall for a lot less than that. So it's not – strong safety is a position where there aren't many really high-level cards. But if you really want something that's like a 95 to 99 area, the Bethea Team of the Year edition is really cheap. And, you know, most people just go with that one. But anyways, uh, enough about strong safeties. I want to show my lineup really quick. And finally, I want to take a look and show you guys what it would cost to buy one outright in the auction house. So we came up with about 130, 140,000 is probably what we would pay right now. But we all know that's probably going to change a little bit as people rip open packs and get more of these. So I'm looking at this right now as a cheaper alternative. The set is a cheaper alternative to buying outright in the auction house. That, of course, could change. In even a day, it could change, you know. So always check before you put together a set. Always go make sure that it's not uh, cheaper to go ahead and just buy it outright. So let's go ahead and take this one on. We're going to get 3,000 coins, the collectible we need for the set, should we choose to put that one together. It's going to be four minutes pro difficulty. Should be very easy to take care of. But you guys know every once in a while something crazy happens in Madden Ultimate Team, so who knows. But nevertheless, I really want to get this one done and really recommend getting it done because, one, solo challenges are kind of drying up. Uh, if you have followed my show for a while, you know I'm a real big fan and proponent of going out, doing all the solo challenges, grinding through those, trying to get some coins. I've done a couple videos on it, uh, one in particular where I just show off how I grind. But I do a lot of grinding, as you can imagine, and that's pretty much how I built my team. Didn't spend a whole lot of real world money on it, but they're kind of drying up, you know, like I've already gone through Road to the Playoffs and I'm working my way through regular season and almost done with that one. I did the style challenges and it's getting to that point where I'm probably going to have to start grinding through head-to-head -head seasons if I want to keep getting coins. But as you guys know, and I've done a couple videos on this that show this, head-to-head -head seasons is kind of a roll of the dice because if people quit when you're winning, you really don't get very much. Um, a lot of times, believe it or not, especially lately, I've gotten more coins from games where I've lost than games that I've won and the person that I was playing quit. So it can be kind of dicey with head-to-head -head seasons. Obviously, it's a little bit more fun. You know, you're obviously on the edge of your seat when you're playing head-to-head -head seasons. You're playing another human being. It's not quite as relaxed as when you're playing a computer opponent. But nevertheless, I, I'm going to keep grinding through solos and 
see if I could get my team just a little bit closer to 99 overall. I'm at 97 right now. I don't know that I'll be able to hit 99. That's kind of one of my, like, cheesy personal goals is to get a 99 overall team this year. But I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Could be a little bit more difficult than I think it would be. And got to be honest, it's proven to be a little bit more difficult just getting to where I am now. You know, I... I thought I'd have a 97 overall team a lot sooner, but it just didn't work out that way this year. There were a couple choices I made with some coins that, I'll be honest, were not very smart. And there we go. I think that's Don Terry Poe. And there, yep, there you go. Don Terry Poe. I actually had somebody ask me the other day recommendation on a defensive tackle that wouldn't cost them an arm and a leg. And I said, really? The Don Terry Poe card is the one that sticks out in my mind as one that's very easily attainable, um, very affordable as well. Probably should have let that one bounce, but anyways, as I was saying, the, the Don Terry Poe card, very attainable, very easy to um, acquire for a, I wouldn't call it like a budget price, but a fair price. I saw him going on Xbox One today for as low as mid-50s. You know, in terms of coins, 55, 56K. And it's a it's a really good card. And believe it or not, you can even shift Don Terry Poe out to a defensive end and he'll do okay. It's not like I wouldn't recommend starting him there, but if you have if you play like with for example, the Giants playbook shifts defensive linemen around quite a bit. You know, if you play with a playbook like that and you need somebody who can kind of be like a utility player, that Don Terry Poe card could probably do that for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So, let's see. Definitely should have let that pump bounce. Because I don't know that I'm going to be able to run out the rest of this clock with this short of a field. But we'll see. All right. Let's barely eke out the first down. So today's going to be a really interesting day. I'm recording this on the 13th of May. And if you don't know already, 13th of May is going to be the day where... I think this is really cool, by the way, that they're doing it with ESPN. But EA is going to announce the Madden cover athlete for Madden 16 today at 6 p.m. Eastern on Sports Center, And you guys know I was really pulling for Antonio Brown. And the reason for that is I just, I thought Antonio Brown had such a great year. And he also helped me win my fantasy football league this year, but didn't make the finals. So it came down to Odell Beckham and Rob Gronkowski. I'm pulling for Beckham. I don't really care, though. Um, either one will make a very good cover athlete. I just think they'll be able to do something really cool with Odell Beckham in terms of like that really crazy catch that he had that broke Twitter, the one-handed grab. I think they might be able to make a really cool cover using that as kind of like a reference. But we'll see. Find out here in half an hour. All right. So I'm definitely not going to be able to run out the rest of the clock here. But I am going to do something really cheap and just going to do it for the sake of time management here. And go ahead, take a knee. And it's going to run a little bit more clock. Feel pretty confident that I could get three yards in two plays. And there we go. I don't think it's been too often that I... Lately, I don't think I've been doing much diving over the top with Le'Veon Bell. So, feels kind of good to get back into that. No, oh, look at that. There's Ronnie Lott looking really odd in a Tampa Bay Buccaneers uniform. I went to a sports bar recently, and they had a autographed 
game worn jersey from Ronnie Lott when he played with the 49ers. And I was like, man, that's a really cool piece of memorabilia. I don't even want to know how much they paid for that. But I'm glad to have Ronnie Lott on my team. I had somebody on Instagram tell me that the 24 hour version of that card is sick. And I believe it because I have the regular version and already had some really big plays with it. Really good uh, in terms of catching. Like the catch rating on it isn't terrific. But I will say this, haven't seen him drop like an interception yet. And hit power on it, again, not an exceptional hit power rating, but I have caused quite a few fumbles with them thus far. And that's in head-to-head -head season, so against the computer, I mean, you know, it's a computer. It, he does well, but head-to-head -head seasons, that, that card has come through for me a couple times. Ooh, that fumble recovery would have been really nice. <clears throat> oh, well. That Mario Williams car, that's another one. 99 overall, picked it up, spent a lot of money on it, but totally worth it. It's come through for me multiple times in head-to-head -head seasons. Uh, you'll even get to see how it came through for me in a recent head-to-head -head seasons game that I recorded. I'm going to put that one up tomorrow. Was going to put it up today, but then I forgot. Oh, wait, it's Final Edition Day. All right, so despite them... Despite them getting the ball with about a minute 20 left, they did a pretty decent job of running the majority of the clock there. Hoping I'd get a sack, and that'd run out the rest of the half, but I guess we're going to get to return it here with Dion. So this guy on Twitter, I just oh man, I don't I don't know what's going on. I couldn't move D on there, so that's kind of a glitch, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot, and I'm gonna do that against all of my better judgment. Just go ahead, call this play action play, and then I'm gonna just send. Jeffrey and Harvin but yeah that was really weird man like I couldn't move any of them I'm gonna move Sanders to a slant oh it's Harvin all the way man I'm gonna let the computer rein that one in and there we go okay so messing around a little bit here on the purple swordfish show today taking shots but might as well have a little fun, right? Got a second left in the, in the second quarter. You might as well just do it. Anyways. I didn't think of it until I saw that punt play. I'm going to go ahead and run this one out at my own three. And if you're new to the show, I do that so I can kind of get through these quicker. Covered out a little bit in my How I Grind in MUT video, if you haven't checked that one out yet. Anyways, as I said, I, I had to see that punt play to remind myself of something funny that I saw on, on Twitter. EA, the Madden Ultimate Team account that they have, the official one, they asked today, what's your favorite play to run on third down? Now, you guys know mine is Stutter Seam Curl. Run that play all the time on third down to bail myself out. And I may be running it right here. But this one guy, he put in punt. And thinking like, there's no way EA is going to respond to that, right? They did. And they said, oh, I guess you've never thrown an interception on third down then. It's just really funny. I love that they don't take themselves too seriously on that Twitter account. And I will say this about the... EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team account on Twitter. They're really good with interacting with fans. So if you, a lot of times I see people write in with either strategy questions or lineup questions or uh, support issues, you name it. Like they're really good in getting back with people. I'm sure they miss some, but I mean it's pretty commendable what they do 
considering how many people they probably have tweeting at them. They must have somebody who just does it full time, or maybe like a team of people. Okay, so we got plenty of room to run here. We might be able to get through this challenge pretty quickly despite our issues in the first half with clock running. Because thus far, even though the Bears' defense is not very strong against the run in general, doing a pretty good job of keeping me to three and four yard runs. So they're not really stuffing me, but they're keeping me in a position where I'm going to be able to run a lot of clock if this keeps up. So I'm going to just keep running through the tackles here. Oh, man, that was a horse collar tackle. That was pretty cool looking. Nice animation. So speed of animations, I'm hoping that they add some more to Madden 16. That would be really cool. Not saying that the animations in 15 are lacking, but I'm really interested to see what they add in general. All right. So this is going to take us to a two-minute warning. And now there's no doubt we're going to be able to run out the rest of this clock, so we won't have to kick it back to them at all. Let's just let this one run down to a two-minute warning. All right. So there we go. And they're stacking the box. They know it's coming. But hopefully my O-line can just give me enough room here to breathe and get in there. All right, so we're doing good. Need to get one more first down, and we'll be home free. And we'll be able to show what we played for and wrap it up. Okay. One more. Should be able to get three yards, no problem. Oh, man, look at that. Wide open. Really nice run. Pro difficulty makes Le'Veon Bell look way better than he really is. Still a good car, but I was playing on, I had to do a training camp challenge. Believe it or not, I didn't finish all of those. I had to do a training camp challenge today, and was running around with Le'Veon Bell all over the place. Because I think most of those teams... For like a 50 or a 60 overall, like really low rated teams on training camp. Kind of took me back a little bit. Took me back to the early days of Madden 15 when I had a scrub team. I think when I recorded my first video for this YouTube channel. And I say this YouTube channel like I have multiple ones. Like this is the only one I've ever had. But I think my starting quarterback was like Johnny Manziel. It, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, I'd have to go back and watch. I'm almost afraid to go back and watch my old videos. Um, I already watched them when I made them. Because when I edit, I do go through and watch the whole thing. But I, I don't know that I want to go back and see how bad I sucked. Okay, so match run all the way down to six seconds. I got distracted talking, and that's my fault. I'll figure out exactly what happened when I edit. And that's, oh, man. thought that was going to be a crazy interception, so it wasn't. Let's just go ahead and show off what we played for. Sorry for my rambling there at the end of the fourth quarter. Got a little bit. Happens all the time when you record like on YouTube. And I always tell people like if you want to realize how hard it is sometimes to play and talk at the same time. Like just turn on a microphone and pretend you're recording. Or even just pretend that there's a microphone. Or even just try to hold a conversation with somebody while you play. It's a little bit harder than I thought it would be. That's why the people who are actually good at this, I really respect what they do. 
So let's see. Martellus Bennett. Really like the the art on this card. I, I always say that. I think I say that every week on the final edition. But yeah, really nice card. I know it's just a filter, but it really does look really badass. Do a great job with that there in the Tiburon Studios. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, yeah, we're uh, going to wrap this one up. There's not much to go through with this one. I think it's going to be a really great card for a lot of you guys. So um, definitely go out there, get this challenge done, and give yourself a head start on getting your own 98 overall Martellus Bennett. Now, I would wait a little bit. Don't do like I did a couple times this year and spent a ton of money getting a final edition player in the first 24 hours. Give it a couple days. And I know it's hard to wait sometimes, but give it a couple days and I guarantee you the value will fall a little bit, both buying it outright and going through in the sets and completing it. So should be a really nice card for a lot of people. I think it's going to settle in like most final edition cards in that 70 to 80 grand range, maybe a touch more than that, maybe a touch less, but I think it's going to be right in there and it's going to be a really, really solid one. Something that you could put in your lineup and you'll be set till Madden 16, basically. So, And I, I also really like Martellus Bennett. He's a really fun player to watch. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to put my social networking links on the screen in the description of this video. And also, you can find them on the About section of my YouTube channel. If you follow me or add me on any of those, I will follow or add you back. And that's just polite. But most of all, I really do like to see what you guys are posting about because... Typically, it's something Madden related, so I like to read what people have to say about it, especially on Twitter, by the way. Uh, but anyways, uh, I also want to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Every single one of those really helps us out here at PurpleSwordFish.com. And then finally, I want to say thank you to all of my current subscribers. I appreciate all your support, all the comments, likes. Uh, just subscribing and watching the videos is a really big boost, but... Uh, to the people that like and comment all the time, I really do appreciate that too. So every single one of you guys that have subscribed, I want to say thank you very much for your support. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. And I don't thank you guys enough, but uh, we got a giveaway that I think I'm going to be doing here pretty shortly. And I think that'll be a great way to thank you guys. But nevertheless, uh, go out there, get your Martellus Bennett challenge done. And hopefully it'll put you on your way to making your Madden Ultimate team just that much better. We'll see you next time on the Purple Swordfish Show.